Happy National Donut Day! The history of the donut, America's favorite. Yum, yum. Please like and subscribe to catch our latest video. To donuts! The Ring King was hailed in American donut history at the Smithsonian's dedication. Singer Cindy Hutchins took the stage and sang, Who made the donut with the hole in the middle? The donut has a complicated history. That includes Dutch settlers, Russian refugees, French bakers, Irving Berlin, Clark Gable, and Native Americans. Fast forward to the mid 19th century, Elizabeth Gregory the mother of a New England ship captain, created a delectable deep-fried dough with her son's spice cargo of nutmeg, cinnamon, and lemon rind. Researchers have found fossilized donuts, like fragments, in old Native American communities. During World War I, donuts became popular when millions of homesick American doughboys met millions of donuts in the trenches of France. The doughboys had a desire for more donuts when they returned to America. Adolf Levitt, an ambitious refugee from Tsarist Russia began selling fried donuts from his bakery in New York City in 1920. This was the first donut machine. Levitt's donut machine was the first evidence that the donut, which had previously been only a taste pleasure, might be turned into a public spectacle in production. As a result, generations of children, as well as adults, have been entranced by the behind the glass creation of donuts. Learning along the way that the donut hole is built in rather than cut out. A circle of dough fashioned like a perfect smoke ring and about the diameter of a baseball dropped into a vat of boiling oil. Circulated was turned over to brown on the other side and emerged from the oil one by one like ducks in a row on a moving rail. Adolf Levitt's machines were earning $25 million annually, largely from wholesale supplies to bakeries across the country. In the 1930s, a French man named Joe Labrieu traveled from New Orleans to Baduca, Kentucky, half a country distant from Lavitt's bustling Harlem Bakery. Probably because of the tough circumstances he sold his secret recipe written longhand on a slip of paper and the brand Krispy Kreme to a local store owner called Ishmael Armstrong who employed his nephew, Vernon Rudolph, to sell the goodies door to door. They borrowed goods, potatoes, sugar, and milk from a nice grocer stripped down to survive the scorching heat of July baking and 
emerged with a fresh batch of Krispy Kremes, which they delivered in their 1936 Pontiac. Rudolph, like Levitt before him, boosted local sales by allowing the public to view as well as buy. This wholesale retail approach is still used by Krispy Kreme, which sells to grocery stores and to passers-by. Who watch for the neon hot donuts now sign to light up announcing the arrival of a new batch. Delicious. By the late 1950s, in 12 states, 29 Krispy Kreme store factories were, were creating 75 dozen donuts an hour. It's no surprise that editions of Robert McCloskey's renowned children's book, Homer Price, in which a donut making machine goes berserk, are available. All American cultures love donuts. Happy National Donut Day! Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, History Nerds, and receive notifications when a new history video is ready. Please share what history videos you would like to see. Happy National Donut 